Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to another Snarkfest and Marie going slightly insane. Um, today we are doing the mummy, the Brendan Fraser money, the mummy, because the good I, mummy. I haven't seen the Tom Cruise. I one. haven't either, but I have not heard good things about it. Yeah, me neither. So, I'm a, yeah, we're not doing that one. Aww. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. I'll get alcohol and then we'll do it next week. How's that? Maybe. If it's hey, streaming. I don't think it's anyway. that bad. It's just not good. I don't it's hold my breath. That bad. Like, I mean, it was bad well, enough that I'm pretty sure it canceled all hopes of them doing like a monster universe, but you know. Which is a shame. That is a shame. Because seriously, I Maybe would love to Maybe they shouldn't see a have movie. hinged everything on a shittily written movie, but that's just me. Well, then you got DC doing the exact same thing. Oh! Okay. <laughs> No, it hasn't yeah, stopped I was not DC, a fan of Batman though, has Superman, it? And I haven't DC seen any movie still making season. movies. <laughs> yeah, because they just went all in on a bad deal, and then they're, now they're trying to make money back on it, so. You know, their movies haven't been... The, so, yeah, Batman vs. Superman was convoluted and not the best. And... And we'll get to that movies. one sometime, too. What? <laughs> we'll do that one sometime, too. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot sure. to rant on that. Sure. You and me both. <laughs> um, but Aquaman, I liked. I thought that was funny. The first Wonder Woman was pretty good. The second one was good. If you don't finish watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Shazam I don't know what that's good. I'm excited for the Flash movie that's coming out next year. So oh, I think oh, okay. I, think, I heard that guy I think canceled he's because doing all right, all things considered. Yeah, but like I said, they went all in on a bad deal, and now they're just scrounging up together what they can. But they didn't lose money on Batman versus Superman. It's just they didn't um, make a lot of money on Batman versus Superman. Justice League, Joss Whedon's Justice League just didn't do as phenomenal as they hoped. But I still Which, okay, think mind you, I will say that is the one thing that always got me. Okay. When Zack Snyder stepped down from Justice League, which, mind you, everybody understands why he had to step down. Everybody gets it. But you bring on Joss Whedon. These two are so polar opposites in directing I that you, I do not, well, but, I do no, not so see that's, that. That's DC's thing, though, is they can't, DC doesn't understand how to do your own thing and to, like, be yourself. They like mm -hmm. to copy everyone else. So they purposely brought in Joss Whedon because they were really hoping to have... To be like, oh, the Avengers made a boatload. Be of money. the Avengers, yeah, that's yeah. what they wanted. Mm -hmm. That's why they brought Joss in. Yeah. And I'm like, but you have what you have going yeah. on with DC. Like, it's not the same. It's not going to work. Yeah, and it didn't. No, that, that, but yeah, that was my exact thing. It's like, okay, instead of trying to you know be Marvel, how about you just be DC? Do your own thing. You have the potential to be a great, but you just shot yourself in the foot with that. So, all right. Well, let's, like I said, well, we should probably stop, stop talking about DC and actually talk about the mummy now. Um, Brendan Fraser mummy, the good mummy. Brent, yeah, the yeah, good point. Uh, did, weren't there three sequels or two sequels? There were sequels, I know, but I don't remember how many. So there was two sequels and a prequel because they did the, there's the mummy two, ah. the mummy three, which Rachel Weisz did not come back for. And then they did the Scorpion King, which I believe is a prequel. But that was the literally the beginning of the Rock's acting career, and I'm pretty sure they made that movie just for the Rock to act in. Probably. <laughs> which, <laughs> if we ever get to that one, we will. Maybe. But I mean, yeah, okay, the fair enough. CGI in that movie is so bad. Oh yeah, I know. I've it's seen. So I've seen it, and yeah, it's. Well, I mean, that was at the point where it's like, hey, we can do all this stuff, and. Instead of acting, instead of being like, okay, you know, we still have limitations. Let's put some practical ethics in there. It's like, no, they no, went all in on the CG. They just, they went all so. in on crap CGI. And mm -hmm. people only went to see it for The Rock. Yeah. Which, to be so fair. So it didn't do bad. Yeah. It actually was probably pretty successful at the box office. It made money at the box office, I'm pretty sure. So I don't yep. remember, but yeah. But um, as for this movie in particular... Uh, oh gosh, I haven't seen this in a long... The last time I watched this, I think it was in Boy Scout. Oh, <laughs> um, I, I remember watching this with my friends in high school. Um, I've watched it since then. I think I own it. 
my husband and I just watched it a few weeks ago because it's such a fun movie. Watched it a yeah. bunch. I remember, I remember when it first came out on, like, I remember it first came out and I was in a some class in school, but it was like the last day of school. And the teacher's just like, you know what, whatever, put the movie in, whatever. And so I think it was an art well, class. PG 13, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it is PG 13. Yeah. My schools technically weren't allowed to play anything above like G without parental consent. <laughs> Not my school. <laughs> Not my school. My school was, oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the teacher just put it in and whatever. I mean, we didn't, we're any, like I said, it was last day of school and no one was paying attention to it. No, um, I mean, that's fair too. Cause some of my teachers told, like, we totally watched parts of like A Knight's Tale and Gladiator in my history class. Not the whole movie, it. just parts of it. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, so I didn't obviously didn't finish the movie because your class was only like an hour long and this movie's two hours. So, but yeah, like I said, I saw the first half of it in like an art class. And mind you, like I said, it was a class. So I wasn't really paying attention to it. But uh, but then in Boy Scouts. The last day of school, exactly. But then when, but then in Boy Scouts, it was like, we were just having a horror movie night and we put this in and uh, yeah, (laughs) so, um, and that was, oh gosh, that was just before high school and i do yeah. remember we were drinking at that point um small town kids yeah uh welcome to small town america <laughs> yeah are you judging me that much for this i am <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay well, before let me high this. school come on at least in yeah. high school i can understand but jeez when your parents are still driving you around to things, you're drinking? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's ballsy. I'll give you that. Well, let me put it this way. I have a friend who stopped drinking at the ripe old age of 17. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, we all know the screw up I was in high school or in school. Do we really have to go? <laughs> no. Yeah. I guess it no. all makes sense now. The pieces are all coming together. <laughs> so, um, we'll get into this. Mind you, I will say I'm not super familiar with ancient Egyptian history. So, I do know a bit, but not a lot. So, I won't be, this won't be a history rant filled one. So, you don't have to worry about that. That's good because I don't think this history is accurate at all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a uh, good point. Oh, so it's like the Patriot. Oh! I'll stop. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh god, well, yeah, when we do the Patriot, that one's just gonna be ranting about no this da, 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 blah, blah. That's fine. So all right. I'll be good. We'll get into it. Pleasure. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, oh god, he <laughs> was in that movie. I forgot. What? That was like, <laughs> I forgot he was in that. Wasn't that like his first movie? One of them. I, um it may have been actually, nice yeah. I think so. It's one of the two, okay. But anyway, mummy. Okay, it was, everybody. Did. Yeah. What's up? Nothing. Well, like I said, it's either that or Night's Tale. And no, Night's Tale was much later. I was gonna say it's it was like, either it was? that or Ten Things I Hate About You. Oh God, I never saw that one. It's not a bad high school rom com. Well, it's a rom com though. It's I'm a, a guy. School. My. Guys don't go to rom coms unless their girl wants to go to a rom com, and I was and me and Kendra didn't want to see it, so we didn't go. Oh, that one's that's a good one. That's a good high school shenanigan movie. Uh, it's based on the taming of the shrew. <laughs> <laughs> so needs so much to- Shakespeare. Anyway, the mummy. Let's just go with it. Yeah, let's get started in this because we've already been going for about oh ten God. minutes. We're so off topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is voting well for the mummy because we've been talking about everything but the mummy for the past ten because minutes. The mummy's a good movie. This is gonna be amazing. I don't know what we're gonna start. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Every it's okay. The mummy is on HBO Max. Okay, mind you, before we start, I will tell anybody watching, I may have ads because I don't I have the cheapy version of HBO. Max, so I might have ads. Now, I tr- I did go through the movie already and try to play all the ads so already, so we might not have to worry about it, but I'm not holding my breath. So, everybody, go ahead, get your get your 
pulled up or whatever, if you have the DVD or the old VHS player, go ahead and pull that up. Uh, oh, good Lord. Yeah, well, that's that's how old this movie is. So That's and, true. That is very true. So, so like I said, it is on HBO Max, so everybody get it pulled up. And in three, two, one, play. Nice universal logo. Yeah. Oh, I, I was going to say, I, I watched this on a band trip once because I, my sister and I saved up to buy a portable DVD player for these band trips. And because the <laughs> DVD player on the buses was always broken. <laughs> and my friend had this on DVD. Nice. So we watched it. The ancient pyramids. Oh, oh that's loud. You wrote about it, yeah. I was not expecting that either. Although there is one thing I do know that's kind of a fun fact about ancient Egypt is if you were to go back, you know, if, okay, look, I don't, how do I want to put this? Cleopatra, if we go back to Cleopatra, we would have to travel more time to get to the pyramids being built. Yes. So we are closer we are to closer. Cleopatra now than Cleopatra is to the construction of the pyramids. Oh so that just shows right. how ancient That's those pyramids are. Sure. What's up? I fucked up. Where are you at in this movie? Uh, one minute, 11 seconds. Okay. I paused it. Give me a second. What happened? I messed up. <laughs> All right. Let's recount. I, well, I went to put subtitles on, and HBO Max <laughs> apparently pauses the movie when you do that. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, I found that out the hard way a while ago. Anyway, yeah. um, so we'll get... So I'm good okay. now, so uh, okay. if you want to count us down again. Try that again. Three, two, one, play. Yeah, well, I mean, already here is a good part of, okay, the CGI. It's not bad here, but you can certainly tell it's CG. I like how she's not actually wearing anything. That's all body paint. Yep. Which was definitely not true in ancient Egypt. Yeah, she would be very. Yeah, she. That's would literally. Be, you can see the pasties on her nipples. Yeah, no. Uh, in ancient Egypt, she would be dressed up. We are talking like purple and stuff. So she would not be wearing nothing but body paint. Yeah, no I'm doubt. Well, even well, even if that weren't just body paint, there she wouldn't be wearing just a what a lace onesie or whatever it's you like, want to call it. It looks like chainmail or something. Yeah. Like, I just don't. And I guess the pharaoh has her just body paint so he can tell when people touches her because that is how they get caught. Yeah. I remember that. The body paint is what gets him fucked or get him in trouble. But yeah, it's... Why would you even... So the subtitle right then said speaking agent Egypt? But then it had the translation at the bottom. Like, why would you even subtitle that? Yeah, no doubt. The translation on screen already. <laughs> no, like a, what a lot of times what they'll do is in su if they in subtitles if they're speaking of foreign language they'll have like. Well, if you know someone touched her because her yeah. body paint. Who smeared. touched? You, yeah, who touched you because of body also, paint? Also, she would be wearing. They did actually wear red lipstick back then. Ouch. And the guys were just as much makeup as the girls. Yeah. But yeah, like uh, the soldiers wearing body paint, I think might be a thing. But like, I, but there's no way that the priestess or her he, is that his daughter or his wife? It's his concubine. It's not even his okay. wife. It's just his favorite concubine. His favorite. Well, okay. Yeah, but even then, there's no way she would be wearing body paint like that. You should. Yeah. She doesn't have any eyebrows, does she? Oh, she does. I don't know yeah, why. She... There's just something weird about her makeup. It's a cool. <laughs> I love that shadow. We'll see it again later yeah, in the movie. Shadow shot, yeah, good shadow shot, yeah. Yeah. So I don't think this movie is a remake of like the 1930s The Mummy, but they do use the same names of they the do, Yeah, they yeah. We should have mentioned that the 1930s Mummy. I've never uh, seen the 1930s Mummy version. I've just Wikipedia this crap. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen the 
never seen the Because the new mummy, I think, also uses the same names, but the plots are all completely different. Yeah. Well, I do know this one has references of the 1930 mummy in it, but like I oh, said, I don't it? think... I mean, yeah, it takes I know there are references. during the 1930s, so there's that. Yeah. Like I said, I know there are some references. Like I said, I've never seen the movies, so I won't be able to point them out, but I do know they do have some references. But yeah, um... This part here is all he's just me. So she's trying to resurrect. I, through- he's he's trying to resurrect. Her. They've already removed her organs, but they're gonna re- yeah. resurrect her and put her back in her own body because that makes perfect sense after removing her organs. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's kind of what happens here is that oh my god, she can't actually survive in her body because it's missing everything. Yeah. Well, what's he doing? It looks like he's about to stab her again. Yeah, I don't even know what was going on uh, there. Ain't you be Jim Jim Mumbo Jumbo? <laughs> Apparition shrieking. Yeah. I like All I know is that this dude is here. a bad guy in Charmed later, and so is the good guy. He's also a bad guy in Charmed later. Uh, I haven't seen Charmed. I loved 1998 Charmed. So. <laughs> oh, they're being mummified alive. So if you're being yeah. mummified alive but they're actually still doing everything, you're not going to be alive for very long once they remove your organs and pull your brains out. I'm just saying. Well, because they don't they start with the brains? I think. It's been a while since I've studied ancient Egypt. I don't remember what they start with. Regardless. I, I Yeah. But, but, but yeah, like you said, they, you're not going to be alive long. Now, if they skipped all that and just wrapped you up and stuck you in a tomb alive, yeah. that's a different story. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, and the Beatles, uh, the Scarabs, I think they were called. Uh, yeah, the I don't know. I don't know if these are. I don't think that many Scarabs actually fit in that bucket he was holding. I'm pretty sure that was Time Lord technology in that bucket. Yeah. Does need to be said. Scarab, a real beetle, a real live animal. But I don't think they're that ravenous. <laughs> Cause don't we see later like a like like a bunch of scarabs run over a guy and he's like a skeleton when they're done? I think so, yeah. But yeah, like I said, scarabs are real live thing, a real live beetle, but they're I don't think they're rat ravenous. I mean, people treat them like they treat piranhas. I don't know why would they? They're not even like cursing this dude. They buried him alive, but if he yeah. ever comes back, he's gonna be super powerful. Like what? You couldn't think of some other way to kill him terribly that wouldn't result yeah. in his eventual resurrection. Like they did throw him into the Nile River. It is their fault that he can now return from the dead and have power over the sands. This isn't like yeah. Hocus Pocus where he cursed himself for someone to bring him back later. They did this to him. Yeah. And this part gets me too, because like, okay, is like you said, 1930s. So these are British. This would be British, but what the heck are? There's one part in particular because I understand the British certainly trying to protect themselves against this raiding our files, which happened all the time in the 1930s. But there's one guy that happens real quick here. Three that yeah, we the mag guy, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, okay, by the way, you guys are doing a piss poor job if you let the British take over. Again, what if the Pharaoh's bodyguards had just killed them instead of I don't I just don't understand. Yeah. And the colonel and the colonel fleeing, yep, happened. You just got promoted. <laughs> yeah, I the colonel that. fleeing battle happened all the time back then because back then they hired uh, how do I put this? They hired people whose name was famous and did not whose skills. But this, this guy, um, they're just proving that Benny's a coward because obviously we see him again, and it's just his character. You froze. Yeah, I froze. One yep, of us froze. I, yep. Sorry. 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 Uh, I didn't pause the movie. Yeah. No, my internet just my internet just flicked out for a bit. Sorry. 
So, do I need to pause my movie? Where are you at? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't pause it. So, like I said, okay. it was just my. It was just my laptop, not my. Okay. So. Yeah. Oh, and they're they're coming over the hill. Why don't you have defenses on the top of the hill? Seriously, you, you'd want the high ground. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you guys standing here, yeah, you'd be dead. They have guns. And just to give you a tint of the talent of these guys, soldiers, they could pinpoint marksman you with a gun from like a hundred yards while riding. They were very accurate. <laughs> yep. Ouch. And the revolvers finally. <laughs> this is like not real ways to use guns. Yeah, this is not how you. Yeah, no doubt. It's this is how people think you use guns, but no. Why get inside? Because you can close the door. Bunnies but yeah, there. now you're trapped in there. But now you're, but like I said, now you're trapped in there. You know, good luck getting food and water. <laughs> and yeah, we'll love it. And like I said, put it, it's 1930s. If you get captured, not good for you. You're probably going to die anyway. And a lot of times in these, I don't think they even took prisoners. How have they not run him down yet? He's on foot, they're on horses. Yeah, how have people on a horse not run him down yet? Yeah, and the horse is all. Ew, that poor horse fell over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do love this. Like, what? what I, why am I not dead yet? <laughs> and they're all gone. You had a lot of rounds on your on your vest there. <laughs> Right? This. Or, like, and he didn't even use them. I mean, I guess it was taking too long to reload the gun they went to. Well, no, well, I don't think those rounds are even fitting the gun he was using. Someone's pissed. <laughs> But yeah, those rounds he because he was using a cart. We saw him trying to load a. It wasn't even a cartridge gun. And this dude. Yeah, is also I, I don't get it. Later, him and the mummy. Two di two different times though, but they're both bad guys in charm. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> I don't remember what their names were in the in Charmed. It's been a while since I've watched it. No, like it could never seen it. So couldn't tell you. Oh. Yeah, this. Just continue walking. <laughs> Should we kill him? No, let the desert do it. Yeah, which by the That's way... That's always the a desert. mistake. You should always just kill him. Don't make assumptions. Yeah. Should have just killed him. I wrote Egypt three years, three years later. How did he survive? Because um, he didn't even have a flask for water. Obviously, he came across someone who took pity on him and probably saved him. That's probably what happened. Maybe, maybe found some cactus juice. It could be that, too. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. It's all right. Oh, and this part here is a little. Like, don't be lazy. Yeah. Also, how is that ladder not like? Yeah, like, and how, how does he balance like this? Line? I just feel like I don't know. Like this whole this whole scene, like. I feel like the ladder would have hooks to keep it anchored to the bookshelf. Yep, they would. They would. And also, these bookshelves would be made of solid wood. They're full of books. They would not knock They're over not, that. Yeah, they are not dominoing like that from you following. Mind you, if one of them were to fall, I can pretty sure the rest of them would fall, but there's no she way. She wouldn't be able would to make it fall like that. There's yeah, no she, way. yeah, there's no way her leaning against it would cause it to fall like that. Because she weighs, what, maybe 100 pounds? And the ladder itself, probably not even 30. So, right. yeah, no way that would be enough weight to cause those to, to fall over like that. But, yeah, you're that right. They've been in so much stuff. Yeah. 
He's been in every dang thing. Yeah. Even if you think he hasn't been in it, he's been in it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, the I do know for certain that the ladder would be secured to the shelf in some way. Now, obviously, you could remove it from the from the shelf, but it would. Yeah, like I said, they'd have hooks that like would go over the lips, or like yeah, they, yeah, they'd like, have little hooks with wheels and yeah. stuff that would that allows you to roll it back and forth. Exactly. But yeah, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way it would just lean over like that. But yeah, it, but yeah, like you said, it's like don't be lazy. You obviously can't reach it, so get down, turn the ladder around. Then go back up, put the book away. Or just put that book down late for and grab it later to deal with. <laughs> straighten up the, the, the shiver. <laughs> yeah, straighten that up. How is she gonna straighten it up? There's no way she's gonna be able to lift those shelves. Uh, Marie, I think you froze. Did I? No. Okay, no, you didn't. No, no, you didn't. You were okay. just sitting perfectly still, and I didn't know if you were. Well, I was, like, I was checking out her makeup because, like, she's got thin eyebrows, which is actually very '30s. But I also can't tell if it's also just the '90s as well. I couldn't tell you. But yeah, like I said, you were just sitting perfectly still, and I was like, "Oh God!" <laughs> so. Now, how has she never noticed this ancient part of her office before? Bob? Well, she heard a noise. I think this is like the new stuff that comes into the museum that hasn't been oh, curated Oh, okay. Yet. Fair enough. Fair enough. Then does this where we introduce her a brother or something? Or yeah. I forget. The, yeah. I think it's her brother. I'm not. It's her brother. Yeah. Okay. Cause yeah, I don't. Yeah. Uh, by the way, don't do that. Don't disrespect the dead like that. Cause seriously, that was once a real person, and you're just being a jackass. Yeah, baby. Okay. But yeah, I do like I, I do imagine people doing that to their siblings. Cause I've done stuff right. like that to my siblings. I've thrown my brothers. I've thrown my brothers across rooms before, and they've thrown me across the room before. So hey. Not another worthless drink. <laughs> okay, and the key box, whatever you want to call it. I don't remember. I remember it's the key for something. Yeah, it's or the, the one that locked him into his tomb. Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, though. The box key or whatever. Oh, and there's a note. Oh, it's not just a note, Jacob. <laughs> I know. <laughs> who the hell said he the first? How do you not know who said he the first is? I know who said he the first is. Well, I mean, real guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're scholars, not treasure hunters. Now I'm not sure about her the hum rum well, whatever. I because I, I, I have it so low I can't hear what they're saying. I'm not oh, sure the oh, if that's a real thing or not. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's real or not, but it's probably like an actual myth city. Probably good point. But yeah, I will say, whatever you see, hear them saying something about, oh, like this person, unless it's the main villain, unless you hear them talking about, like, say the first, a real person. Um, but yeah, if they, or oh, Ramsey, look, he just conveniently he, holds it a little too close to the candle. Oh, he's totally doing this on purpose. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, the yeah, no, yeah you do fire. not do that. Now we can't go. Oops, yeah. Yeah, except uh, even if you didn't do that, that's still worth a lot of flipping money. 
Uh, except we find out later he doesn't want people finding Hominoptera. Fair enough. So, doesn't oh, matter how much good. money it's worth. The map itself, he doesn't want people to ever see that map. I love this guy. Yeah. And the human hamster wheels. Oh no, it's a it's totally a made up city. Yeah. <laughs> they made it up for this movie. Fair enough. And his hair's grown. Hey, it's Tarzan! <laughs> George of the Jungle. <laughs> oh, that's it. He was George of the Jungle. Yeah. Except his beard didn't grow out weirdly. Maybe he doesn't grow a beard well. Not everyone does. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. How is it his puzzle box? Because he, he took like it off him. Because uh. that's where I found it. <laughs> I was there. She's totally got the 90s lip liner lipstick going on. Why would, Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Yeah, never get that close to a prisoner because they will punch you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Sid. I like how she's trying to hide. Like, what is hiding your face with your yeah, hat? She's like trying to hide it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to kill him. He had a very good time. Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah, I would pay 100 pounds to see him hang. Yeah. Should we let him go? No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, all of that. I'm a very lonely man. <laughs> uh, yeah, good luck actually surviving that, because that would be, from that much of a halt, fall, I'm a little bit surprised that his neck didn't break, and if it didn't break, his head didn't pop off. Why didn't you start with that? Yeah, no doubt. Open with that. Whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> he got haggled. They're so lucky his neck didn't break when they got he got hung. Yeah, no doubt. Like, dang. Well, like I said, that was quite the fall. It's lucky his neck didn't break and his yeah. head didn't actually just pop off. <laughs> so, although that does remind me of um, such a scrappy about. nerf herder. Oh, he got cleaned up real good though. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now she's completely fawning over him. Yeah, now you're all friends with him after he punched you in the face. 
Um, well, yeah, no her brother did steal from him. That's why he's completely chill with it. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I do like how he said happens he all the time. He also is okay with it because this guy is going to bring him to Hamanoptra and a lot of gold. So they're going to forgive him a few things. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, but like I said, I do like how he's like, oh, happens all the time. Really? It really happens in your time that you get punched in the face all the time? How often does that happen? Uh, when you're a lying cheat who gambles all the time, a lot. Fair point. Fair point. Her brother's not a good guy. Fair point. I forgot about that. I'm here to protect my investment. Thank you very much. I'm here to uh, to die. Yeah. Well, honest. that's that's the real reason. You need to bring here. someone along who wasn't going to make it. Yeah. Look, more Pharaoh's guards. I like yeah. the dude with the hook glove. Yeah, just, he's just sitting there with hooks. It's like, okay, we get it. You don't have to. I mean, he's basically. Just, it might as well just be holding a knife like this. It's like, okay, we get it, dude. <laughs> Look at those filthy Americans. Oh, her brother is yeah. such an idiot. Yeah. And these guys are all here just to die too. <laughs> Granted, that's pretty much the truth about all the background characters. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they all have names, but yeah. <laughs> Don't what show you your mean? hand. Are you a good gambler yeah, or no, what? No, like, seriously? What I found out why you're too bad at gambling. Right. Uh, there's no way people in a little rowboat would be able to catch up with a steamboat like that. No way. They paddle the really fast. very calm. God. I wonder who the other Americans have. Is there a tour guide? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> it's our favorite guy, Benny. Shotgun shells. Uh... Couple of revolvers. I'm hoping it's served an artifact. <laughs> well, I mean, here's the thing depending on what you find, even if you don't find an absolute treasure, like the paper he burnt, that would still be worth a shit ton of money. <laughs> right. I mean, well, I'm not sure if I talked about this before, but ancient dinosaur remains, the reason we, why we struggle with like learning about dinosaurs from, eight, from Africa, like Spinosaurus, is because people go out, they dig up the bones, and then they sell them to the highest bidder because yep. they're worth a lot of money. And that makes it very, very difficult for people for like actual archaeologists, or um, not archaeologists, paleontologists to get a hold of them and learn shit. Yeah, and that was happening all the time in Egypt around this time. Yeah, they were digging yeah. up bodies and just selling mummy parts and yep, and anything they could find to tourists, and and they were yep. buying them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, well, like, it's Benny! Yay, Benny! His eyes are very, really, really, really. They did really well in that makeup. To make his eyes look all sunken and everything. Someday I might. Yeah, you really should have known, O'Connell. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> These Americans are smart. Not really. <laughs> okay, they're smart. They're smart enough to pay you all up front, but <laughs> not all up front. Only half up front. Yeah. Well, I mean that. Well, that's a that's something you should ever you should always learn. Never ever ever pay for something up front. Yeah, no. it's, it's, yeah. Literally, I mean, she that's... saved his neck. Literally, actually, no, she didn't really save his neck. He saved his own neck when it didn't break when he got hung. Yeah, no doubt by magic or something. Wee. Hmm. 
knowing now he notices. Oh, look, she's crazy. She's stumbling. Yep. Crazy because she's falling in love. <laughs> and look at, hello. Whoops. Yeah, he's got the thing, the knife thing or whatever you want to call it. Ouch. You got bad aim. Ah, that would hurt. That would hurt a lot. Yeah. Getting a lit candle shoved in your eye, yeah. I forgot the map. I was like, I'm the map. Don't worry. That's why you hired me. That is why they hired him, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His bumbling just knocks him into a fire, because why not? And even while on fire, he has enough common sense to grab the key. That boat went up fire very quickly. I mean, things go up in flame pretty quick. Yeah, that's true. I do love this part here. He's calmly reloading his gun, and the bullets are just... Kindly get closer and closer. <laughs> why didn't he? Why did he even reload if he had his other gun ready to go to begin with? Yeah, no doubt. Well, that's something that always gets me is it's very difficult to fire two guns simultaneously accurately. So more likely, what you do is you fire the one, and then once that's empty, you swap out. <laughs> yeah, there. Benny gets back on the boat. Oh, no, that's not Benny. That's some other guy. No, that's not Benny. That's one of the uh, Magi. Yeah. What did he... He just fell into the gasoline room, I guess. Yep. I like this part. Wait here. I'll go get help. He jumps in the water. Jump overboard, dude. He realizes it. There you See? go. Took a little too long. I'm not sure those boxes would be bulletproof. I like how, how yeah, all Americans you? are just, you know, gun crazy cowboys. It's fine. Yeah, no doubt. Although, if they were in Egypt for, like, hunting gold, I'm sure they actually were. Yeah, they would hire. This is who they'd hire. <laughs> Yeah. Did I panic? I think not. And then just flips himself over. And they I all did the box back. I don't know. We didn't see that. He just somehow did. Get out of the water. Why does it matter if you're out of the water or not? Where'd you get all the horses? They were on the ferry boat. How'd you get them off the whole boat? They jumped. The horses would have been kept under the under like oh man, I don't know. Oh bottle! I have all the horses. Ah. I like that. That's fine. Oops. <laughs> God crap. Swearing in Hungarian. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know Bunny was Hungarian. Yeah, me neither. But yeah, uh, this you wouldn't really want to have horses. You'd want camels in this type of terrain. Yeah, taking horses out into the desert, not really a good idea. That's why you take camels. <laughs> Oh, 
เราเพียบอ๋อ now she's all dressed up in actual I don't think that's actual anything I feel like that's yeah, what prostitutes wear over there yeah that's a good point fair point She was wearing I mean, just a onesie. What's the point of a see-through thing over your face? It's not covering your face. Else, yeah. Actually, I don't know Couldn't what the you. style would have been in the 1930s over there. You're asking the wrong person. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, if you're ever going through the desert, you don't want horses. You want camels. You have no idea how hard it is on a horse to travel through the desert like this. Uh, nice cut. Nice. Uh, I take mom. that back. They did wear a see-through face thingies over there back then. Huh? Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And here, I like that shot of the camel feet, and you can see exactly why you don't want to have a horse. The right. Horse hoop will just sink right into the sand, but you want more of a spread-out padded foot like a camel has. So yeah, that's one thing that always gets me. It's like I have all the horses. Congratulations! Just got trained to get camels, right? I don't know how they managed to get these horses to work. Gosh, that would be so hard on the horse horse's foot. How are there two camels riding so close beside each other that she could fall asleep on him and not realize? I have no idea. <laughs> They're being watched. Nice silver moon effect. The moon's oddly very silver in this. I wonder why. <laughs> How do you know it's the same guy? Because <laughs> he's got good facial recognition, unlike Lois Lane. Hey oh <laughs> are we just gonna put this in full of puns? Yeah. Yeah. I do like this of not having the glare like I had last week. Oh, because of you know, yeah, I put a pin up here. Later in the, in the day, or you have better curtains. No, I just put a pin up here because yeah, if I didn't, the glare comes in. So it's nice to be able to look over and not have glare, not to see 500 cash, but that'd be I a lot of money. Catch up so quick. $500 back in this time, that's a lot of money. Yeah. But yeah. We're about to be shown the way. <laughs> like, did this happen last time they were chased to Hominoff? Yeah, no doubt. Like... This time, yeah, this is the first time you were there. There we go again. <laughs> yeah, the camels would easily outrun the horses in this. Not according to my husband. In sandy terrain? On, if it were like an on solid ground, yeah, the horses would obviously win. But on sandy terrain like this, no way. Oh, is a horse going to be able to do it? How did Benny get on a camel? I thought he was on a horse. I don't know. I don't know Whee! how they caught up so quickly anyway. Ouch. Why are they all racing for it? <laughs> it does look like it does look like the ground they're on is more solid, so the horses would have the advantage, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> she just uh, hit the nitro boost on her camera there. Yeah, <laughs> she, no doubt. But yeah, what's the point of everybody racing to here when it's like everybody's going to get here anyway? Uh, for the money. Like, it's for the bet. Whoever gets their first wins. Well, everybody's here now and everybody is setting up camp. I don't see how getting there 20 minutes earlier managed to get you, a, get you an advantage. At this point, it doesn't. I mean, obviously, you want to find the stuff first, but because at this, because uh, since they did more or less get there at the same time, they do end up fighting over who excavates where. Yeah. yeah I like this part. Do they know something we don't? They're led by a woman, yeah, because apparently women don't know anything. Which even in this time, not true. Not true. <laughs> I like how they're. Old. You can see the mirror in the background. <laughs> they're really setting up for the whole lighting trick they have, which I don't think would actually work or not. But, <laughs> but I think that's something they actually did do back then. Lighting rooms with mirrors. I don't know. That seems a little. I don't know how well it requires works, the sun to be like. Next it spot. pops up in so many things that I'm pretty sure that's something they actually did. Oh, huh. maybe. I don't know. It seems a little. I mean, granted, I'm just. I'm not thinking real hard about it. It just seems a little because, like, you'd require the sun to be in the exact spot. Right. I mean, obviously, I guess it is possible that if they really, if they got really, I guess they probably could, but it'd be very difficult. But yeah, see, like, yeah, this, the lighting up mirrors like that, no way that would work. No way. I don't think it would work that well. Because you're right, that one yeah. mirror that's, like, catching the initial light, you'd have to move it, like, every couple of minutes to continue to catch the light yeah. just right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, I'm a little bit surprised they don't have canaries with them. Because that's one right. thing. That's one thing you always. Yeah, that's one thing you'd always do is you'd have canaries. Because if the canary falls over dead, you know it's poison gas. That's or why there's they not always oxygen. Canaries. One of the two. Yeah, because the canary will die a lot sooner than a human would. That's why. That's why people always took canaries into coal mines and whatever. And this the, uh, Hollywood trope I absolutely hate is you never hold the torch in front of you because you wouldn't be able. Yeah, you do it more like that. You hold it up because if you're holding it directly in front of you, you won't be able to see a damn thing. You hold it up because right. if you're holding it directly, it's like well, it's like if you're holding it directly in front of you, you might as well just be shining a flashlight in your eyes. You won't be able to see anything beyond it. Hold it. I mean, like. They just treat torches like candles in this and it bugs the shit out of me. I like how I like how her brother has a little tiny pea shooter. I mean, really they just... are on the side, that side already. Yeah. Like, you kind of have to get through them to get to it, so it does look like you lost. Yeah. Just saying. He found a crack. <laughs> yeah, I've had worse. Me too. What? <laughs> yeah, I like this. Let's be nice, children. <laughs> I like this. It's like, trust me. <laughs> Just you know, like speaking with their eyes. Trust me. What? Yeah, this always bugs me, though. It's like you're messing with the roof. That yeah. you don't want to bring, yeah, that might just bring the entire thing down on you. Don't go messing with the structural integrity of a building and then hope it stands. 
Yeah, and then this is where this guy finally dies. I don't remember exactly how he dies. I think it was a scarab or something. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie in, oh gosh, 10 years almost. Yeah. I was in Boy Scouts. Uh, I was in Boy Scouts, so... Uh, at least my at least my sophomore year is the last time I saw it. I don't think scarabs are that jewel-like. No, not real ones. Obviously, these aren't real. And yeah, I think those nice. are just shells, the scarabs inside, because I think we see them breaking later. Yeah. Wow, dude. What the heck was that? Yeah, no I like how there it's like I think we should have let them help open it. <laughs> I do know that a lot of these were very, very superstitious about okay, discovering mummies. I mean, I do I will admit that there is kind of it is weird how like you'd find like a lot of people who found mummies would end up dying really weirdly. <laughs> Although I don't see how they got that screwed. Was like acid or something? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't think they did take out your heart because they didn't actually believe the heart was an important organ. I I I remember hearing, um, in an okay, mind you, I listen to ASMR videos a lot, and an ASMR video had, was basically this, and I remember in that they said that they took the heart out, but they put it back in. They did put so it back I in. It wasn't one of the because the um. Obviously, the five important organs were put into the canoptic jars, and the heart was not one of them. Where were they? I don't remember. Brain, it's been a while. Yeah. I, lo I was real good at this stuff in sixth grade when I first learned it, <laughs> and I have not retained much. Too much. Like I've I said, I don't. Way too much since then. The but brain I do cells know have they, to... um, Egyptians uh, actually believe the color blue was an important color. Um, and so that's why you see that a lot. Like, not, it wasn't really purple or green like in other cultures. Egypt really liked the color blue. Oh, it, and... it molted. The scare what? molted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then gold was, like, everywhere, too. Uh, don't we see it, like, crawling through his skin here? Um. I don't remember. We do see that eventually. I don't know if that's here. Yeah, or yeah, not. yeah, right here. Yeah, we see here. it. Like, ah. oh, that's... I know it's fake, but it still looks so gross. Oh, yeah. I like how he's trying to smash it through his skin. <laughs> yeah. How is he not dead? <laughs> oh, now he will. If it went up to your brain like that, you're dead. I like how she's got a paintbrush and they're just using their hands. No doubt. The key. The man on the bar. <laughs> it works. I'm a little bit surprised that it actually. Why would you want to open this? It's just a mummy. I thought she yeah, was looking no for the yeah, would, never, would never open why this. Why is she yeah. trying to? Why is she opening a sarcophagus? Sarco yeah. You never open it there. No, you'd want to bring it back to some place yeah, you'd bring, where yeah, you'd the bring environment was more controlled. If you yeah. open it there, the oxygen's going to hit him, and he'll probably just immediately, like, mm -hmm. turn to dust. Turn to dust, yeah. And that guy's dead. Yes. <laughs> Mostly because he somehow ran into a wall hard enough to hit his head, rather than the scarab that's clearly eating his brain. Yeah. Which, running into a wall like that full speed, if it didn't kill you, you'd have a, you'd have a very severe concussion. I've rollerbladed into walls before, and all I did was lose teeth. They were baby teeth, anyway. Yeah, fair enough. I couldn't stop. <laughs> I was going downhill on a ramp. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I you might not be dead, but you would certainly burn. <laughs> a broken bottle.
How is that broken? The top. I mean, you can kind of see. You would not drink out of a no, broken bottle. No, you wouldn't drink. If it's broke, if you just got your hand on it, you're not drinking out of it. Yeah, no oh, doubt. Oh, he's dumb enough to, obviously. Well, that's the point. But he still pulled the cap off. Oh, they're here again. They kill us all. They should kill them all, but they don't. Yeah, no doubt. Covered in cat hair. Percy. Purper. <laughs> Yeah, here's what you do. You fire one gun, and then as soon as you're out of ammo, then you switch to your other gun. Because, <laughs> like I said, it is so hard to fire two guns simultaneously and with any degree of accuracy. And shooting while drinking. Yeah, good luck. Thanks, I'll take a swig of that. <laughs> you're useless. <laughs> Wee! Yep. Don't do that. I don't think a bullet would knock a sword out of someone's hand like that. Dude, throw it. 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 You're holding a stick of live dynamite that's lit. So him holding the dynamite is what scared them off and let them stay. Yeah, his cool, yeah him holding the dynamite is yeah, clearly enough to frighten them off. You can stay, but you must be here. Yes, doing you must leave action. in a day. Uh, dude, I would say you must be gone by morning. Why would you give them a whole day? Yeah. No doubt. I'll give you them I'll give you the night to pack up, but yeah, she, she's just clearly panicked. Her Which I do know hap I do know has happened. Like a lot of times when people realize what they like I've read stories about fighter pilots who just they'll get into a dog fight, shoot down the enemy plane, and then just freak the fuck out. So yeah, her shooting someone, she'd be freaking the flip out. And you were caught in the middle of shaving, it looks like. <laughs> Why is he caressing the bottle like that when he's trying to sleep? Because he's a drunk. And well, she's you, you need better drunk. footing when you go to punch someone like that. Yeah, no doubt. She's clearly drunk, too. You clearly don't. <laughs> Which I, I don't think you'd be bringing alcohol to trips like this. I'm just thinking, like, for a trip like this, you'd want water. Neither, of them, I don't, I guess, I don't know. I don't really believe that either her or her brother are part Egyptian at all, but that's okay. No doubt. Well, I mean, there's, that could just be, you know, what's the, the old joke about what's one thing you find in anything in a British museum? Things that are not British. So could be possible that he, that he just stole it. And you're drunker than a skunk. <laughs> Congratulations, lady. Yeah. I've and seen the movie The Librarian. They're pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> I know never fuck with librarians because I had some librarians who would yeah, they just look like they could kick the shit out of you. And she just passes out. Yeah, she does. You know, typical. Mm -hmm. The whole typical how I do like how he just mimes it. Percy, you're gonna fall, kitten. Let's move up on my lap. It's not that fall. I'm pretty sure the uh, native guys would be fleeing like in terror right about now. 
And again, you wouldn't open this here. You would bring it no, back. No, you would bring it back. You'd bring it back to a controlled environment and then open it. Reading in ancient Egyptian. Right, yeah. And all the lights just flicker. Yeah, yeah. The day is like, I'm gone, gone, bye. Yeah, they're gone. Bye, bye. <laughs> the one who's brought back to light, yeah. <laughs> he will kill all who open this chest. Oh, and assimilate their organs. Yeah, that's just weird. Yeah, like this just seems like an even better idea of let's not open this until we make sure that nobody is like bringing any dead bodies back with us. Yeah. <laughs> it, don't open it now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he takes off running. He's just a, he's just afraid of every damn thing. He's afraid of yeah, his own dang shadow. Coward. That's these guys are idiots. That's okay. Yep. I like how they just open, despite the fact that the where they got this thing was booby trapped. They're like, let's open this box. Yeah, no doubt. They're lucky the box itself wasn't booby trapped either. Why are oh, you? Oh, why are you opening all this stuff? Why here? are they opening every damn thing? For plot, obviously. Yep, they found the corpse. Mm -hmm. Oh man, his jaw. I hate when these things do that. They do that? Do they what? do that? I don't think corpses fly out like you like that. He's still juicy. What? I thought he was bandaged when he was put in there. What happened to all yeah. his bandages? Well, wasn't he buried with a bunch of bugs? That's Maybe they ate it. Yeah, they probably did. Look. Where, where are all the bugs? You'd have to, like, do it often in the same place. Your fingernails aren't sharp enough to make gouges that deep. Yeah, no doubt. And did he You're carve definitely not carving something buried? that deep into it, either. Yeah, no doubt. Also, I'm surprised you could even see well enough to write something. <laughs> it's only yeah. not beginning! <laughs> <laughs> they found the book he does exist I'm sorry whenever I hear like it does exist I always just imagine that old Eminem commercial where they meet Santa's yes. like With Santa it does exist. they do exist yes <laughs> I think that's probably my favorite commercial ever it's a pretty good one Uh, wouldn't those be holding organs? They would be, yes. I don't remember what they're called, but yeah. Oh no, Vash and Wolfwood. What are you? What's he doing? Go back upstairs. Dogs. Yeah. That guy is cradling in that book like none other. A lot of places would pay a lot for that mummy, actually. Yeah, they would, but. Flesh eater. Again, are scarabs actually flesh eaters? I don't know. Let's find out. <clears throat> oh, so you found those in the. Okay. Okay, hold on. How would it be very slowly when we see them run over a person and get turned into a skeleton later? No, beetles don't actually live eating flesh. I didn't think so. I did not think so. I They'll do know that they're dead and decaying flesh, but not live yeah, yeah. flesh. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
I mean, it just it just like it just makes me think of piranhas. How everybody's like, "Oh, piranhas will eat you alive if you fall in the river." Actually, no. Even if you have a real cut on your arm, a piranha's not gonna eat you because they want to make sure you're dead. Once they know you're dead, they'll devour you. But until then, yeah. Take the book. Yeah, I'm a really hell of a heavy sleeper. So if you were to take a book like me, that for me, I would not notice. That's called stealing, you know. He says that. I was gonna say. I do a card he according stole to my that brother's called toolkit and gave it to her. I don't know why he's <coughs> getting so uh, yeah. judgmental on her. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> no, you should not be playing that. Oh my god, lady, really? Seriously, again. You would not open this stuff here. You would go back to, you'd have it in a controlled environment. It's a day and night, I couldn't tell you. Reading an ancient- Your dog scratching himself. Yeah, yeah, and the mummy comes back to life. Yeah, you're screwed now. Ah. Then why were you trying to claw it open earlier? He just wanted to look at it. Don't you like looking at pretty it? pictures in books and not actually read them? Most books are most books I have, have don't have pictures. They're filled of their words. Seriously. Words, 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 all words. I don't have many books with pictures in them. They're screwed now. Yeah. Locust. The locust. Uh, locust would not eat you. No, they wouldn't. How I don't you know, dude. What have you done? Yeah. Oh, his glasses. Oh, he's got the whole Delma shit. I can't see yeah. a thing without the glasses. Doesn't he, like, step on him and break him? Yep. Also, you're not going to find your glasses if your eyes are closed looking for them. I can't see yeah, either when I do that. My glasses! My glasses! I can't see without my glasses! I Mind you, I have very bad eyes, so I do know what it's like to, without, you know, yes. try to find your glasses. Did you see how thin line. his lenses were on his glasses? That's, yeah, that's a good have point, very yeah. very bad eyes. He should have been able to find them fine. He should be able to see just fine. <sighs> <clears throat> yeah, you don't have a... You don't have... How are your eyes that bad when your lenses were, like, paper thin? Yeah. Because whoever made those props doesn't understand how glasses work. Yeah, no doubt. Also, obviously, if he doesn't need real glasses, lenses that thick would be very hard for him to see through. Yeah. Uh, I like how he saw a figure... And if that were clearly someone you know, they'd be like, "Don't shoot! Don't yeah, shoot! Yeah, don't shoot! Me. Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Uh, shoot this! You That's see, you, if you're bad eye, you clearly see something instead. that scares you. Why don't you shoot it? Every other time he turns around, he has his gun pointed. Yeah, here comes the Beatles." No way that those would be that ravenous. <coughs> wow, your gun is so effective. Yeah, a shotgun is not going to do much against those. Where'd she go to? A corner. That they don't follow? Like, it makes sense for them. They jumped onto something that they can't reach. I guess no, she climbed cool. up a step. Yeah, maybe. But I yeah, like how those, neither of them was watching her. Yeah. But yeah, seriously, firing a shotgun into those is like, dude, you might as well shoot. It's like, if you like, might as well be shooting like a, a big cloud of mosquitoes. You're not going to do yeah, anything. Yeah, like, it's not going to do anything, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it doesn't, yeah. 
He's missing his eyes. They really did bad at that CG there. I can see the mummy's alive. How would he? How is he still like? How come he's still alive? <laughs> Wouldn't the mummy kill him already? Uh, yeah. I don't know why he didn't finish the job. Yeah. He comes back for him later. It's like, dude, why didn't you just kill him? Yeah, why don't you just do it now? First time. He took your eyes and your tongue out. How are they running? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, the where we are see, back. Yeah, where we see the Beatles run over a guy and he's just a skeleton when they're done. Yep. How is it that she could fall through the door by leaning against it that they couldn't get through by I don't know. catching on it? Maybe she somehow pressed the switch. <laughs> Yeah, how do you not notice that? I do like how Brendan Fraser just yells it. Yeah, just open up with the shotgun, dude. That should be opening gambit. The guy who was covered by Lokes is. I told you to leave. You gave them a day. I mean, to be fair, uh, even the day was up. Like, they should have been gone by now. How'd they find this guy? I don't know. So apparently they went down into, they went down into the tunnel and pulled him out. Yeah. Your dog is whining. I know he is. He just wants. He just ah! wants to... Sit. Sit. No. The creature is the bringer of death. <laughs> well, how do we make him stop? Get on a plane and fly to Britain. Good luck him getting there. <laughs> unless he unless he plans to swim across the river and across the oceans. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he just starts going through the gods on it. Yep. Starts with Christianity. He's got like probably got a Jewish star here or something. He does. He's got every damn thing. He's got everything. I like how the mummy is just like. No, okay. <laughs> Arabic. <coughs> yeah, I see a Jewish star hanging there. Chinese. Yeah, there's a Jew. You can see a Jewish star there. He's doing Chinese. It's still nothing. Why does the mummy want him, though? He didn't have a whatever. Yeah, see the Jewish star. <laughs> the language of the slaves. <laughs> does Betty understand him? I think so. He must. But yeah. Which, to be fair, in this type of situation, yeah. <laughs> In that type of situation, if you're come across with the undead mummy of something, you pretty much just do whatever the hell it tells you, because otherwise it's going to kill you. And it's not going to be a good death. I didn't see where they were. I thought it said Cairo, but I wasn't sure. It did. Yeah, they're back at four. Is, that, is, is Cairo the only place they know of in Egypt? Yeah. There are other towns. Are there? Just Cairo. Yeah. And well, everybody calls it Cairo because it's all that everybody knows. Oh, 
I mean, there's like Alexandria. Why don't they go there? <laughs> but no, it's all Cairo. Everything Cairo. Cairo, Cairo, Cairo. Because <laughs> like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the only town that these people know about. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, I've had that happen before. That's very painful. I like hey, you know, you gotta go back or try to save the world. I'm pretty sure this scene was always cut out on TV because I don't remember seeing it until the last time I watched this movie. Yeah. The Royal Air Force, hold on. The Royal Air Force was stationed in Cairo up until even in World War II. What are you talking about? How are you the last Air Force? What? I don't know. Everybody's getting drunk. Why were you off the airfield at all? Because he could be. <clears throat> Dead. Wait, no, not yet. Yeah. Uh, not yet. <laughs> Yeah, and Benny's like the yeah, it's like you're meet, you're meeting the prince. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't a prince though. He was a yeah, prince. Here, yeah, here he finally gets it. He thanks you for your eyes and your tongue, and yet yeah, yeah, now. <laughs> Yeah. We don't actually see what happens to him. No, it's a PG-13 movie. Yeah. Well, they show one guy, don't they? Uh, I think they do, actually. I think they show some of them. Uh, yeah, and the water turns the rip, or the wine turns the blood, and blah, 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 I don't know. Yeah, he's there. How do you get there so fast? Uh, he's the undead who has control over the sands. Yeah, fair enough. Good point. How do you not know? Oh, the raining fire! Because we have to bring in the ancient, the uh, biblical plagues, dude. You yeah. just ignited. How did you ignite when the fire do hardly touched you? Although, Grand, this is fire from heaven. So, yeah, like I said, like I said, they're bringing in the whole biblical plagues. <laughs> Benny just like no, no, no. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> And we'll see his corpse here, if I remember. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's none but a corpse. All skeletified. And he's regenerating. I like how he still kind of has bandages around his arms. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you shot him with a shotgun and that didn't do anything. I don't see how these little bullets are going to do anything. They're not. They're not doing crap. Whee! Why are you not running? And how is the cat not panicked? Because it's a cat. Look how cute it is. Cat's like I'm on the piano because I'm here to save the world. Ha <laughs> ha. That's exactly. But the cat, the cat's not like you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> 
again, but how did the cat not get afraid of the gunshots? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's such a chill cat that's just like, I'm just going to save the world just because I can. Hmm. I am clearly God. I like how everybody pulls a gun on the Magi guy here. I forget his name. Oh, look, the curate is part of the Magi. Are we of surprised? Course. No, that's why he tried to burn the map earlier. Who would have stunk? <laughs> Give me one second here. Yes. <laughs> well, every time I look over, I just see my face in bright light and everything else is real dark, so. Well. I also turned off my AC because it's getting a little cold again. It's going to be flipping cold again tonight because yeah, why not? South Dakota. <laughs> yes, that's very romantic, but what's it got to do with me? Uh, clearly, you're going to be the new sacrifice for Anok Sunman. Because well, her he, body she is doesn't know that yet. so she needs a new one. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. You're so supportive. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no doubt. <clears throat> An eclipse. I can move the moon. Look how powerful I am. Yeah. Although, if you actually were to move to the moon, that would cause so many tidal problems. Right? Like. <laughs> I like how it's like. She stays here, you three come with me, and everybody protests. Because she wants to go, and they don't. Yeah. <laughs> this door doesn't open. <laughs> and I like how no one argues. Dogs upon the squeaky toys, I hear. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that that I'm uh, okay with. There's an occasional squeak is just whatever. What's with all the close-ups? You can't see who's coming up behind you when you have a close when the How camera's that close, close behind someone and not have them notice. I mean, yeah, I know they're doing it for the, the for the effect, but seriously, it's like I don't know. Move. I don't know well, how you like, don't notice somebody coming up behind you. Yeah, but so annoying because it's like in film that I would be like taking the camera, taking well, uh, taking my phone and putting it right here to get into someone's face. Holy crap! I got thirty emails in the time it took us to start. Cheesy crackers. You're my only friend. Oh, that friend. Yeah, you're my only friend that I'm willing to sell out constantly. Right. As long as you serve him. At some point, Not he's going to realize he doesn't need you anymore, Benny. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you're immune from him, but I will... That fan would not cut your head off. But it would hurt. Although you'd be strong enough to lift him up like that, seriously. It would be, it would be very... Seriously, getting your head stuck in a ceiling fan like that, it would hurt like hell, but it's not going to kill you. Uh, Benny's a coward. It doesn't take much for him to just, fair point, you know. Fair point. He'd get a paper cut and be like, oh my god, the world's ending. That's exactly why he, he, he jumps out of the window. out of window pretty good. In spite of being a coward, he threw himself out that window damn nicely. Bash! Oh, uh, another skeleton. Rupert, where are you going? 
Stay here. Look, I'm protected <laughs> from ancient mummies. Yep. Hi, Oh, look, he looks like a person. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's going to summon a flag of locust on you. He <laughs> a locust, but. <laughs> Could you not? Apparently not. Oh, boy, just... No, that's not behaving. Every... That is the opposite of behaving. All right, I gotta go feed my dogs real quick. Don't pause the movie. I'll be right back. You want to pause? No, it's all right. Because oh, this is the part where this. the guy. If you were this dead. dude stuck in this room, I would have that cat. I would be like, "Where is this white cat that you had? I want it with me at all yeah. times." Like, how did these guys yeah, no not have cat? Like, just put a cat in a pouch on their back, you know? Yeah, but yeah, I think this is the part where we see him actually get. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, like, you know he's after with... you. You know he's afraid of cats. Get yourself a yeah, cat. Yeah, seriously. Jeez. You have a cat with you at all times. No, Wolfie. But yeah. No. Hammer releases. <laughs> yeah, and here we go. Yeah. I don't think we actually see it, but yeah, in the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's gruesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember this part. The beetle crawls into his man and eats it nice. <laughs> Wasn't she wearing white earlier? How did she change? And you just <laughs> and yep. How does she not wake up? Oh, now she does. <laughs> yeah, it brings up the cat because. <laughs> Keep that cat with you at all times. But yeah, again, why did she change? She was wearing white earlier. Now she's wearing black. <clears throat> so three down, one to go. Yep. But yeah, we did see. We mind you, it was in shadow, but we saw the guy get like his life force sucked away. And yeah, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, something we should mention: Arnold Volzo, Volzo is it Volzo or Volzo? The the guy who plays Imhotep. Yeah, he owns this role. Let's just be real; he's awesome. Yes. <laughs> now you're all screwed. Yep, he got the, his followers. Really, he's just uh, brainwashed everybody. Yep. My favorite play. Why are we going through the plagues? <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, you've got one more guy. Put a cat on him. Yeah. It's like tie the, literally tie the cat to him. Just put the cat in a bag. <laughs> and book bag. Yeah. Back here. Make sure the cat is happy. This, but yeah. Yeah, this is probably my favorite line of the book, Patience is a Virtue. Not here it isn't. Oh, 
Yeah. They broke through that door pretty easily, considering it was Yeah, they did. There. They got really pet bad doors. Yeah, right there, yeah, my favorite line of this movie. <laughs> yeah, he took off running. He just turns right back. Yeah, and, just, and everybody else just completely believes it. And no one notices, yeah. Nope. They're all in a trance. <clears throat> Wouldn't they able, be able to tell that he's not part of the Apparently them, not. Come on, dogs. I fed you. Be nice. You don't get my pistachios. My nice shadow effect. Yeah, uh, yeah. You will. Yeah, uh, everybody gets theirs eventually. Let's put it that way. Karma exists, and you will get it eventually. Don't stop. Drive through them. Yeah. I don't know why you stop. Oh, I'm addicted to these super good. <laughs> yeah, and he's just like, all right, there I got go. this. I'm glad O'Connell uh, is saying. Yeah, at least he knows. Out, 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 out. Yep. God, these stunt doubles are not paid enough. Ouch. This movie, it just poked the guy's eyes, yeah. So these people are completely in control and everything, but, oh, they got the guy, they got the guy. Yeah. Like, that was your one goal, dudes, was to keep that guy from getting taken. Yeah. You failed. Completely failed. You're idiots. Why didn't you pull those out earlier, dude? Ah, uh, he's foobard. Again, yeah, well, sure Cat wasn't going to save him from these guys. Yeah, well, would they would himself. they would just take the cat away from them and be like, yeah, but, but again, why try. didn't he? Put, but again, why didn't you pull out the guns to begin with? That should have been your opening move. Should have saved a bullet so you could kill yourself. Yeah. Benny doesn't look too happy. Yeah. Well, I don't think he anybody could watch that watch someone getting their life sucked out like that and be okay yeah, with that. Yeah. Okay, why are they afraid of his torch when they all have a torch of their own? He's coming. He's coming. It would have been better if you said they're here. Yeah. <laughs> I think she understands what it means, dude. Oh yeah, I'm saying yeah, she knows, but <laughs> again, she already told he's just he's just doing this for the expedition for the other people. Yep. Hey, right, it is. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We don't have the cat for some reason. If I turn into a mummy, you're the first one I'm coming after. I turn into the zombie, I'm eating you first. Yeah, live today, fight tomorrow. I love how he's, like I said, Arnold 
both whatever his last name is just completely owns this role and I love it. <laughs> I need the key, thank you. <laughs> really? You couldn't take Bunny? Come on, Jonathan. Yeah, no doubt. You could have thrown your torch at him. How did they not notice this earlier? And these people are really just very slowly... I don't think they... He's not gonna he make just it. sacrifices himself fighting off the hordes. I thought he was in the later movies. Or at least one of them. I don't remember. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Just kind of assume he dies. Or maybe he doesn't. No. Yeah. Maybe just tie him up. I, I thought he was in one of the other movies. I thought. Like I said, I've only seen two of the other movies and I've only watched those half heartedly, not even watching them. The second mummy is pretty good still, actually. I mean. I they redo some of the jokes like from this one. I think I it actually is pretty good. The third one's not as good. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, when this is on TV, I believe this is the first time you are introduced to Winston. I'm pretty sure they cut the other scene he was in. <clears throat> yeah, I watched this movie. But I think he dies in the movie. <laughs> Kids these I'm, days I'm don't understand it. watching yeah. things on cable. But again, they, they set up that he was like the only Royal Air Force here. Uh, yeah, he's just, he, I don't know if he says he's the only one, but he, he's definitely, or no, he is the only one because he's the only one that survived, I think is what yeah. his point was. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I know that the Royal Air Force was operating through Egypt throughout World War II, and I don't recall ever a time being in, even in the 30s, where the Royal Air Force was not in some active in some way. Although that plane they're flying is clearly a modern make of a plane and not, how can I put this, uh, it's not a stop with camel, let's put it that way, which would obviously be the plane of choice at this time frame. Yeah. He forms into it perfectly, but he just tosses them out of the tornado haphazardly. Yeah, no worries. Well, yeah. They're fine, aren't they? I can't. I, I can see him doing that. They didn't to... need the sun to like rise at the perfect time to find Hamanoptera this time. Yeah, I'm just. Is I'm it sorry. Because I can... he's already been risen. Is that what it is? Since he's back, yeah. they can find Hamanoptera anytime they want. I'm Are sorry. I can see him like throwing. It... Yeah, I know. I can see him throwing like the slave out of the tornado haphazardly, but with her, I'm pretty sure she would have been. Because again, that's supposed to be your wife or your bride you or whatever you the hell you want to say. Please turn down a bit more gentler. Planes don't go faster. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way to get a plane to go faster is to go put it into a dive and get as much speed as you can. Especially planes at that time. Doesn't he start shooting if, if I remember correctly? It's like, what are you going to do against a massive wall of sand? I don't think it's going to do what bullets are going to do. They shot at scarabs coming at them. They clearly are not the brightest. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. At least we have what it's like, what are these bullets doing? Annoying it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Bah. I don't think he cares. That is the point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> she like runs up to him and then doesn't even do anything to distract him. Please give him a kiss or something. Like, come on. I don't, doesn't she do? I don't remember. They're complete. They're very clear in this, considering they're supposed to be in a freaking sandstorm. Yeah, she does just kills him. Yeah. There yeah, we that'll go. do it. Should have done that sooner. 
Oh, their plane's going down, though. Yeah, it's too late. The plane's already crashing. Mind you, a plane... You can clearly see the smoke generator hanging off the bottom of the plane! That's what wow. I mean. Wow! Oh. Cool. You can clearly see the smoke generator hanging off the bottom of the plane. It was not... <laughs> wow, that is bad. Granted, this was obviously... Granted... This movie was not exactly super high budget to begin with, and all the budget went to the CGI, so I'm not too shocked, but still. That's definitely what happened, yeah. <laughs> like I said, you could see the smoke generator hanging off the bottom of the plane there, so. <laughs> and poor Winston. <laughs> Smart mood to take the gun, at least. Yeah, see. He like this looks handy. Oh, uh, he bit it. Unfortunately. How did the two on the wing survive? Yeah, like, how did they, they survive and he didn't? I don't know. Also, that's not how quicksand works. Yeah, that's not how quick. Yeah, quicksand doesn't. Is quicksand right. even exist in the African desert? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it because it, it requires water, doesn't it? I thought so. Well, at least he gets a burial. I like how I like how O'Connell act like salutes him, but I wish like uh, the Magi guy had said like a prayer or something. <laughs> But if that Apparently, was there is such thing as dry quicksand, but no one's actually sure if it exists in nature or not. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> but it, but really, but yeah, I, I will say it was very convenient to the quicksand to wait for them to all get off the plane first, right? and then just suck them down. Yeah. Very convenient quicksand. <laughs> Why aren't you helping? Stop talking to them and help. I mean, to be fair, it's not like there's a lot of room for him to get in there. There is such thing as just being in the way. I'm sure yeah. he'd probably be mostly in the way if he were to try to help. Well, at least pick the stones up out of the off their feet so that way they can have, you know, because you don't want them to have to move the stones that have already moved. Like, that's one thing about digging a tunnel is that, like, you got to get the dirt out of there some way. Oh, the scarab comes alive. And it ate into his arm. <laughs> Ouch. What else are you going to do? Yeah, there's nothing else you can do, but still. Boink. It would have been better to stump, step on it, you know? Or anything other than shoot it. Yeah. Don't need to like summon his guards here or something. I That's think exactly yeah, what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They just and they just claw out of the walls. Wow! Really? They were just the stone just came to life. Yeah. Really. Benny is so freaked out. <coughs> and wake the others. Wouldn't it be wake the others and then kill them? I don't know. How did he just make stone come alive? That doesn't make I any don't know. sense. None of this movie makes sense, all right? This is a That's this is movie is a turn your brain off movie because there it is. is no... It's just a fun movie. They don't even try yeah. to explain why anything's yeah. happening. It just does. It's all magic. It's fine. Yeah, but I do agree. I wish it had been like like he like resurrected some corpses or something. I mean that is very convenient. Right. Like, isn't there like a bunch of golden? 
Man, if they would have just found this room the first time, they may not have even. Yeah, no doubt. If found this room the first time, yeah, they're set for life. Mm -hmm. Except for their lives, except for their kids' lives, they're set for everybody's lives. I like how he's. Oh, here come the zombies. Yep, yep, nope. All right. These are actual zombies, though. They're actual These skeletons. make sense. Yeah. Maybe. Well, they make sense in the context of this movie. Of the, this room, but okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The smart, the yeah. Flamethrowers a thing in the 1930s? Because I feel like they should have those. Yes. I feel like those yes, would be very effective against dry, rotted mummies. Yep. Flamethrowers would certainly be effective in this. Where do you come from? He ran, as is usual. Yeah. Oh, man. That can't be comfortable. No. Did she, like, get knocked out in some way and then get... I guess so. Hey, look at that. That's sexy. Yep. Yeah. Isn't that what you want your husband to do to you all the time? No, you can keep oh. the rats away. Thank you. <laughs> How did he do that? They're lucky the pressure wave didn't kill them. I mean, you know. Yeah, but you should. Yeah, dude, you should have done this to begin over closer, then load it up. That way you have it. That way you don't have to walk back and forth that much. Well, the camera doesn't like him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, that's true. So why does he... I'm confused. Okay, he has her body, and he can clearly bring back bodies. So why does he need her at all? Um. Yeah, I don't really know how his ritual works. May so I feel like he brings maybe, her back maybe. and then transfer and then switches their souls because again, her body's like old and rotted, and I don't yeah. think the same magic's gonna work to revive her body that revived his. Yeah. All right, Benny. Yeah, with no, all that good. gold you just put on that camel, you're set for life. I don't know why you have to go back. Because he's. Well, I know he's greedy. Yeah. That's his comeuppance. Mm -hmm. The Golden Book. Yay! He's out. Don't worry, guys. I got this. He doesn't die. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I know he doesn't die. He's in the other movies. He's like his best friend in the other movies. How does he from survive the the dynamite exploding? I, I wonder. Know. How is? The sand on fire. I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing about Look it. That crappy CGI. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said, a lot of this is they went all in on the CGI when practical effects would have been better and cheaper. Like I mean, mind you, for this, there's not. I don't. I'm not sure. You could have easily done CG. You could have easily done like practical smoke, but the spirit thing. Yeah, you have to CGI that, but. I am so confused. <laughs> oh, see, she's to sacrifice, I guess, to complete the... Is 
So he would have to kill her, and then like her bodily fluids and whatever would transfer over to the other girl. I guess. Uh, yeah. Like how he took in the bodily fluids of the four yeah, guys. I guess right. Anoxina Moon would get hers. Yeah, that sounds easy. Let me just reach enough. in there and yeah. get it. I don't know if a sword could break chains. That sword would be so heavy. I don't think that's how any of this works. Hey, Knives. You gonna come say hi? No. Knives <laughs> doesn't come say hi. I love it. Because here's, here's the fun part. He's clearly fighting nothing. There is nothing there. And he's just swinging at nothing. And I love it. And he sells it so well. There might be guys in green CGI suits he's fighting. Ouch. Actually, I doubt it. You're probably right. Yeah. That's a practical effect. Yep. That's, a, yeah, you can tell what's practical and what's not. Let's put it the real. Why are they doing it? Why do they have to grab a big stone and kill him instead of just. Although I do because love this. It's more like, dramatic this way. And I do it love gives this. Him an out to write him out of. I, I know. I do, but I do love how the hand crawls to the sword and grabs the sword, and that's what he uses to grab the sword. Because <laughs> he can't reach the sword, but he can reach the hand. More guards. <laughs> and these ones are actually marching in formation, not well, but hey. <laughs> <coughs> Top marks, they formed a shield wall, even though that wouldn't have been a thing in ancient Egypt. Uh, start when doing did they it, learn dude. that? Yeah, seriously, no doubt. <laughs> she knows everything, apparently. <laughs> they can jump real good. Yeah, they can. <laughs> then he runs away. Yeah. <laughs> Good run. I like how they have a moment of like... <laughs> No, you were so good, dog. The zombie girl's chasing me after her. <laughs> Whee! Uh, don't take that. Ouch! He's not having much luck, is he? These guards are just all over the place. They could jump insanely well. Maybe them crawl over the walls like that. Jesus characters. Those look like the same stairs <laughs> from the scarabs before, but yeah, the, well, it probably is the same set. Yeah, they probably did use the same stairs every time. Just change out around it. Ah, oh, yeah. god. Yeah, these guards—they have like thirty guards, yet they can't kill him. No, they're not really good at coordinating their attacks. It seems, and apparently they're idiotic. Yeah. He really cannot read that well, can yeah. he? Ouch. Would that be enough to set him on fire? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes, I see. Jonathan, pull your shit together. Ouch. Oh, man. Oh, that hurts. Stunt double oh, not paid God, enough. That's going to leave a mark in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Stunt double clear in his paycheck there. Yeah, and now they right there. <laughs> that was lucky. Yeah, no doubt. What do you tell him to do? 
Oh, they told him to kill her. <laughs> he just dropped the book. Man, uh, yeah, you ouch. choked. Oh, look. That's very similar <coughs> to when she killed herself in the shadows earlier. Yeah. They do a lot in the shadows in this movie. <laughs> ouch. Get his arm off. <laughs> It's okay, he doesn't need it. He should have gone for the head. I don't think that would have helped either. Uh, yeah, he should have just reattached this bizarre. He's a good pickpocket, I see. Open the damn book! Keep him busy. Yeah, what else is he oh, going to yeah. do? No problem. I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> She just threw the key Ouch. over her shoulder. You might need that later, honey. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I do love that. Now it's your turn. Why did he say, like, go to hell? What's he going to do? Eat him? And the chariot for the underworld. Why couldn't the Magi have just done that 3,000 years ago? Yeah, no doubt. Okay, so I'm confused. Didn't they just take his soul? How is he still alive? They made him mortal. They took away the undeadness part of him. I don't get it. Yeah, because he can die now. That was the whole point. His immortality? See? The chariot right. made him mortal. It didn't take his soul. It just took his immortality, I guess. I don't know. Kind of. Like I don't I don't know. I don't know. They took away the curse that made him undead, maybe? Took away his you magic know, powers. Don't think too much about it. It doesn't matter what the chariot actually did. He's now <laughs> mortal, and now he's dying. Yeah, it took it took away it took away his magic. We'll just say that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what it did. Why not? Yeah, and it's only the beginning. It's a song by Chicago. I'm gonna do it every time. I know. I know it's by Chicago. Chicago. By the way, good Chicago, good band. Yeah. Oh, and then here, yeah, because of course you need to rest and put it on that thing. Yeah, let's, this thing's just conveniently sticking out. It's not yeah. a lever at all. Yeah, com clearly. Yeah, at this point you say screw it and run. You leave everything no. and just run. Well, I mean, yes to them, but Benny's obviously not that smart. Well, I know, I know he's not that smart, but yeah, I'm just saying, at this point you'd be like, yeah, we're done. Yeah, you just leave the book. Yeah, it's like I can't. Yeah, yell at him later. Benny, you would have made it if you hadn't dragged that with you. Yeah, seriously, you'd be well out of there by now. Just grab a handful and run. Yeah, see, you could have had something by now. Instead, you just yeah, you could have stood grabbed there and a stare. Or something. Just Look at the stuff on the steps. Grab a spoon and stick it in your pocket. Yeah. Like easily, yeah. Why are you gonna help him? He never helped you. Because O'Connell's a good guy. Fair enough. But he's Fair not enough. gonna miss Benny all that much. Yeah. There you go, Bunny. You get to be buried with all your gold. Yep. Like I said, it's just comeuppance. God, that would have been really scary to film, not going to lie. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Why didn't you go to these other exits earlier? Why didn't you go there first? <laughs> yep, now you're buried with the gold and the scarabs. <laughs> and the scarabs.
I know he, I, my, I'm not sure what your said, what I'm not sure what your subtitle said, but said, shush me, shush me in mine. Yeah, that's yeah, ah, uh, shush me, shush, shush ma. <laughs> oh, you shush ma. It's gotta that's be my... some other language for get away. <laughs> Yeah, and then the fire dies. And, yep. <laughs> oh, man. And even that's all CG. Well, granted, I guess it makes sense that that's all CG. Because they, there's, it would cost so much to have to reset that for all the amount of time they had to destroy it. So, <clears throat> what's with the rock folding over on itself there? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> He's alive. I know, right? Like how? May Allah smile on you. <laughs> He's just gonna leave him there. He's just gonna leave him there. Well, yeah, he has, no, they, they have, have their own camels. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, see, they got camels. <laughs> That's what I said. But you have camels. You know how to get back. It's not like this is your first time out here. Ooh. Yeah, and, yeah. And, <laughs> oh dear, yep. I kind of wish it would that he would have been like I wouldn't have said that, and then like have him pull out out something gold, and then have her like start kissing him and him flip it away. <laughs> well, they still have. Have the sword? Oh no! Is that the sword? No, it's not. Okay. They do. They have all of Benny's stuff. I feel bad for that camel. Yeah. He has got two people on him and a bag stuffed full of gold. Yeah, it should. Yeah, they should have had the bags. the camel with all the gold on the other guy's camel. Because seriously, because gold is heavy. Gold is very heavy. Yes. I mean, you saw Benny wasn't exaggerating when he was trying to drag it out. Gold <laughs> yeah. Is very. Heavy. Uh, yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, that's one thing. I'm not. I mind you. I really doubt they. It's filled up that bag of real gold, but gold is really flipping heavy. So but it seems that like was the money, everybody. On, and hey, my, I didn't get any the... ads. It looked like my trick worked. Yeah, I was going to so say, your trick worked. I will do that. For, yeah. So we didn't. I didn't have to pause for any ads. So, uh, so hey, where's that? So I will do that from now on. Every time we do an HBO Max movie. Um, yeah. Because we should do so, the hey, Mummy it Returns works. next week, obviously. Well, yeah, have, so obviously we have to. Uh, I haven't seen the new Mummy. I, I, I don't Let's know. Let's do the Mummy Do you want, do you want to just go into that, that one blind? Movie. Okay. Yeah, the Mummy Returns. So, well, how many more weeks of hot, of October do we have? Well, let's well let's advance the stream the stream and then we'll discuss the logistics. Yeah. So, anyway. final thoughts. Uh, I like this movie. Well, yeah. I've already said yeah. I've watched it. A ton, and uh, I mean, I just watched it a few yeah. weeks ago with my husband, and I rewatched it with you now, so I clearly like it. Yeah, I it, it's it's a corny movie. It is it is really corny, corny, but 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 it, it, but it owns it, and I love it. A lot it. of action. The writing's mm -hmm. decent. The acting's decent. Like it doesn't feel because my the new Jungle Cruise movie tried to be the Mummy, and it failed horribly. I had didn't see opinion. that movie. <laughs> Yeah, I heard a lot of bad. Um, I, when I was gonna go see it, I heard a lot of bad things. I'm like, I'm not gonna see it. I'm not gonna spend my money. I mean, on it that. was cute, but anyway. So the mummy, <coughs> Brendan Fraser, does a great job of being like that sarcastic hero that you want to get. You know, you like Benny yeah. is a great antagonist because he's annoying, but like, so you don't feel bad with everything he does. But he's not like over the top annoying, which is yeah, what they yeah. do with a lot of characters like that. It was a good metal point. Yeah, I mean the CGI was awful. Yeah, 
Well, like I said, is they went all in on the CGI, and that's where all the budget went. So yeah, but Rachel Weiss was, you know, she was cute. You know, she was very believable as this librarian who was just in it. She was just very like passionate about, oh crap, what did we do? Yeah. We need to fix this. Like. Although that that does remind me because Rachel because like you said Rachel Weiss doesn't appear for the third one, and right. is she is her character replaced by the actress or is it like oh her character no, died? No, she's not in it. Or, they they give some reason as to why she's not there. I forget what it is, but I they don't. That's the third one, right? Yeah, where they have okay. like their kids in it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's one thing that always that's one thing that always gets that that's one thing that pisses me off is when they have a different actress playing a character an established character i, am I mean sometimes sure sometimes it has it. to happen i get it so i don't i couldn't tell you but I'll um but yeah it. we'll imdb just so no, yeah like i said i love this movie is this movie is a really it's really turn your brain off and enjoy the corniness and it's awesome like they so, yeah, don't, don't try come to this like movie overly explain gold, what's okay. happening using real science they're just like it's an ancient curse it's all magic you and froze that's there fine. that's fine I don't like it when they over explain yeah. things. This yeah. stuff made no sense. Yeah, it's magic. But... You don't have to explain it. Exactly. So. It was magic. It's literally what it was supposed to be. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it's 100%. Just turn off your brain, enjoy the corniness, and it's good. Because, like I said, if you're trying to think about this movie, you're going to have a bad time. So, but yeah, oh, that was the mummy, everybody. Great. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we will see you. What's up? Well, I'm going to end the stream now, so goodbye, That's everybody. Fine. I'm trying to... Well, usually you wave when I end the stream, well, so the I'm waiting for that. And then there's the Mummy Returns. Yeah. And then the next one that comes up is the Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. But that was uh, like... No, no, no. That's it? Mm -hmm. What about the Scorpion King? That's a prequel, like I said. Okay. Oh, no, they did replace her. Oh, God, I hate that. Okay. Yeah, I hate Maria that. So Bello. I don't even Maria Bello. I don't even know who that is. But yeah, I thought she just wasn't in it at all. I don't think her character's in it long though, is she? she I'll be honest. I think I've seen this movie once on TV or the third <laughs> movie once on TV, and that was it. It was terrible. So we're kind of going to go again. The Dragon the Emperor. Point. I literally thought it was called The Mummy Three. I didn't even know it had like a subtitle. It's literally a Jet Li movie. Yeah, because <laughs> Jet Li's in it. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, I was waiting for you to wave goodbye to the stream because you always do, so. No, I was looking. There you go. <laughs>